Barbon gang, drug gang, they both, they damn near both the same thing to me. What's up, y'all? go by the name Super Dave. One of the Columbus, Georgia hardest barbers, man. You come holler at me at 2303 Fort Benton Road, Spot 2 Barbershop. Serving Jane, make a play. Chick around the city like they hill. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Well, I've been cutting hair, man. Shit. Basically, since I was about, about 14. So I'm, I'm 30 now, so shit. Probably about 16 years, man. But I've been professionally cutting hair for like eight. About eight years. I've been in the barbershop about eight years. So, yeah, probably about, I say, I say about 10. I say about 10 years. Man, what made me start cutting hair when uh, my mama, my mama ex-husband, man, me and my little brother, he just sent her to the, sent her to school, man, fucking us up, you hear me? And then, I used to always, like, edge myself up. When I was, like, in middle school, I used to always put a little, Five little line on my head, man. Maybe every two, three days. That would make me get it. Well, that was the start of. That was the start of Super Day right there. Doing that right there. And then my brother, my brother John John, man. I had I started practicing. Really, I was fucking his head though. I had started practice on the head when I was probably around about about 13, 14 years old. And after that, about time I got about about two years, about 16. I was really doing my thing, you know. I was all right, I wasn't all that, but I was really doing my thing. I was hustling in high school, and I was cutting nigga hair in high school, probably about six, seven dollar haircut, you know what I'm saying? Making a little money doing that shit there. So, how, super, how I get the name Super Dave, and I came into the barbing game with it, was I think when I first got locked up, I was like, I think I was like 20, 20, 21. And I had ran, I was in there cutting hair and stuff. I ran into the old school cat. He's always tell me, man. He used to say, Dave, man, you need to, you need to go out and, and go in the barbershop, man. Go cut some hair when you get out, man. You guilty. You got some blessing here, man. Do something with yourself. So, you know, God gave me a second chance. I got out. As soon as I got out, I bumped my head again. I went back in there. I went to prison and I ended up meeting the same old dude. So I met when I met him again, he was like, man, you ain't never going no barbers. I said, I ain't gonna lie to you, old school, I ain't even do it. So I was like, man, if I get another chance, I'm going out there, I'm going straight into the barbershop. So I got when I got out, man, I came to the barbershop. I got a job at the barbershop, but my head went all the way in it. You know what I'm saying? My head was elsewhere. I was still like halfway in, halfway in the street. You know what I'm saying? My PO might call me and say, well, yeah, I'd be like, I'm, in, I'm at the barbershop. They say, I'm finna pull up. I might beat them to the barbershop, put somebody in the chair, acting like I'm cutting their hair or something about them. When they leave, I'm going right back out the door. You know, I'm back in the street, I'm back in the trap. You know what I'm saying? So I end up bumping my head again. You know what I'm saying? God bless me with another chance. When he blessed me with another chance, I just came full force, you know what I'm saying? I use social media, I use Facebook, I start taking pictures of haircut, I start doing all types sorts of stuff, man. That thing, you know, people were coming in, they uh, asked for Super Day, you know what I'm saying? Barbing gang, drug gang, they both, they damn near both the same thing to me, if you ask me. Because you can have a client sitting in your chair, they might look over there and be seeing what I'm putting on somebody. I call my shit goddamn straight drop. You know what I'm saying? Cause they don't always want that straight. They always gonna come back for that straight drop. You know what I'm saying? So they come in there, they see me putting that drop on. They come in here, they they people not be here. Get with who they coming to. They gonna come to. They gonna see that water wheel. They gonna see that eye, and they gonna see that straight drop. They coming with that straight drop at straight up. I'm telling you, I put that drop on every time. Then I took that name and Super Day. It was just like a little catchy name in, in the barber game, you know what I'm saying? But when you're doing stuff like that, you gotta have some sort 
a name, something that gonna ring bell. All the little kids, they think I'm superhero. Super Day, Super Day, I'm going to see Super Day. Hey, Super Day, everywhere I go, that's all I hear. Super Day, Super Day. When I start being a hot commodity, um, I want to say about probably about probably about two, about two, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that boy, uh, Boulder Barber Wilson over at Canvas Cut. Shout out to that boy Warren Rounder. That boy Mike Carlin. Shout out to them boys, man. Them boy taught me a little bit too. But uh, I want to say probably about about two, three years ago, man, when I first just really wanted to put my heart into it. When I started doing that, man, like I told you, I use I use Facebook, I use Instagram, I use all that stuff, man. Just start posting, posting, posting. I might I might post I might post a picture of a haircut, and I might. Shit, make a hundred dollars in, in, in the next hour or two. You know what I'm saying? Once I post one picture, all I all I do is post a picture. Here come my, my inbox, my DM, all that shit jumping. Where you at? I need to pull up. Where you at? Where you at? That when I started realizing, boy, you know, so you really got to do, man. So I started doing that. Probably about probably on my on my third year. That when I really really knew that I was hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you, one I got a little homeboy. Shout out to the boy Boost Noodle from downtown. I got a little homeboy, Boost Noodle. That boy always tell me, say, boy, if I get out this chair and go home and I don't get no head tonight, boy, you ain't put that thing on me, boy. I said, boy, I put that thing on. He'll call me. He might call me the next day. Boy, you put that haircut on. Boy, she sucked me good, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. What made me start the real clientele, clothing line, come up with the name real clientele, like I said, man. The drug game and the barber game, the same thing. The barber game just legit. That's all. It ain't no, it really ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? You gotta sell yourself, you gotta sell your product. You know what I'm saying? But like when you in the drug game, you you serving the whole city. You 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 might think you serving the whole city, but you ain't gonna be serving them because you can't serve everybody. So you ain't serving that whole city. That's just like the real clientele. I feel like I'm cutting the whole city. Well, people feel like I'm cutting the whole city, but I'm not cutting the whole city. I can't cut everybody. You know what I'm saying? I just took the street game and the barber game and I mixed it together. You know what I'm saying? And I came up with real clientele. And I just went for that. In the next two years, We've been working on some investment. We're gonna put a uh, spot two up there in Atlanta. We're gonna franchise. We're gonna try to put them all over. We're gonna at least try to put three of them up there. But in about the next year or so, I plan on being a celebrity ball. I'm gonna be a celebrity ball. Somebody gonna come get y'all, boy, Superman. I'm telling you. Straight up, real clientele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a reason why a nigga drive a hundred miles. I, I drive from Atlanta to Columbus because I can't find nobody in Atlanta to cut my hair like this in the day, man. <laughs> man. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. The muscle man, spot two captain, man. Fuck with me, man. 2303 Fort Bend Road, Columbus, Georgia, man. Spot two barbershop. Get at it.